what if what if I have the beers that most of you have been attacking me for most of this time what if my plans don't come to pass what if photography is not what I'm supposed to be doing what if I don't attain destiny what if Nigeria is not corrupt and we have the things that most of us have been complaining about what if I'm very rich and I'm so wealthy that I can buy anything away. However, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the negativity of what if. I assume that and I believe that most of us will ask ourselves this question, what if? And I also believe that it tends to hinder us from doing certain things and thinking in a very positive manner. And I also believe that what if is filled with bad energy. However, I'm going to be talking about the negativity of what if and why you should stop asking yourself that question. Let's go. If this is your first time on my channel, don't forget to subscribe. It's just that red subscribe button down below by the right side and please click on that notification bell to get notified when I release new videos and so that I will not disturb you with my link and also don't forget to help me share my videos to help me grow this channel please it's very important and don't forget sharing is caring two major things that I'm doing in my life right now is photography and I'm studying law in university and also I'm doing YouTube and sometimes I ask myself what if and those what ifs are based on the fact that whether I'm doing the wrong things or the right things or whether my plans are not going to come to pass or whether the things that I, I believe are going to happen will not happen the positive things actually and I also believe that most of us we also ask ourselves that question what if well, I'm going to be talking about theory negativity to what if and why you should stop asking yourself that question because I believe what if is filled with bad energy and it also just helps you to think negative. So for number one is the fact that what if is filled with bad energy. We all know that we should always try to avoid bad energy. However, sometimes it tends to be very hard because what we are filled with in our society and the news and whatever the social media and everything else is just filled with bad news and bad energy why you shouldn't do stuff stuff like that but it's very important that we fill our mentality with good energy all the time we should always learn to think positive whether there's anything that you plan on doing in the future whether there's this drive or passion that you have for something and you just feel like giving up on it and you just ask yourself what if i don't become the best musician or what if i don't become a very good writer or what if youtube won't pay off well i believe you should stop asking yourself that question because bad energy is always going to draw you back you should always learn to fill, fill your mentality with good energy and good thoughts all the time because I believe what you think sometimes is always going to come to pass, whether good or bad. Number two, what if is the opposite of risk? Sometimes in our lives, we should always learn to take risk and that is a very important thing that some people and most people have been preaching. Risk. I believe is something that is going to take it to the next level. For example, when you are playing a video game and you are trying to level up, you notice that the level that you are playing currently is very hard for you to get to the next level. For example, Candy Crush for, for an instance. Candy Crush sometimes can be very frustrating because you are trying to get to the next level and that level is just hard to pass, you understand? and. That is an example of risk and I don't know if that's a good example but that's what I can think of at the moment. 
risk is just something that is going to take it to the next level something that is going to take you out of your comfort zone and take it to where you're supposed to be or put you on track we should always learn to take risks sometimes and one thing about what if is that it's going to draw you back from taking that important risk that is going to take it to the next level of your life stop asking yourself what if especially when you're trying to take a risk because for example when you want to take that risk and you just ask yourself what if I take this risk and I don't get what I want or what if I'm taking a bad risk or what if this risk I'm taking is going to jeopardize my my life or something like that stop asking yourself what if because it's going to hinder you from moving to the next level for number three what if holds you back what if I already said it's going to hold you back from things that you're supposed to be doing you should always learn to Feel your thoughts with positive energy and positive thoughts all the time because what you think sometimes is going to happen whether bad or good you should know that asking yourself all the time what if what if what if is going to hold you back for example you have plans you have rules and you have already had the intention that those plans will come to pass but then just have that bad energy to ask yourself what if those plans don't come to pass you should always learn to remove bad energy from your mind and maybe you have that passion that you have maybe it's music maybe it's any other thing you should just learn to fill yourself with good energy all the time and you should have the mindset that your plans will come to pass and your passion will be paid off and you are going to be that person that you want to be in the future stop asking yourself what's it as a matter of fact you should always learn to ask yourself or tell yourself this what if i become the best musician what if i become a very popular youtuber what if i become a very good photographer and a well-known photographer these are the kind of all what if that you are supposed to be asking yourself and not the negative things and you should know that what if will always draw you back and you should know the difference between a good or positive what if and a negative what's it man this video is basically trying to tell you that you should always avoid the negative parts of what if i hope you understand all that i've said in this video and i really hope that you put them to practice and you also learn to ask yourself those positive what ifs and you should always try to avoid the negative what ifs. see you in my next video and with this i've come to the end of today's video bye don't forget to subscribe like and share Thank you very much.